now, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, because every time we turn around, you just keep making a way for us. Lord God, if we need healing, you made a way. If we need deliverance, you made a way. If we have financial issues, you made a way. Whatever we need of, Lord, you always make a way. Because in your word, you say all the promises of God is yea and amen. So it's always settled. It's not just settled here on earth, but it's settled in heaven. So Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you because Lord, every time our cup is running low, Lord God, you always fill our cup, Lord. So we say thank you, Lord God. We say thank you because Lord God, that's the best way that we can show our gratitude, Lord God. Because you woke us up this morning. You call us in our right mind. Lord God, we did not wake up just from our land, but Lord, we woke up, Lord God, with a mercy to see thy face, Lord God. So we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Because this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad. In spite of what yesterday threw at us, Lord God, today is a new day, so we say thank you. It's a new day to be victorious. It's a new day to walk in the abundance of your joy. So, Father, as we stand right here, right now, Lord God, our expectation comes from you and you alone. And because of that, we have a seed to sow in this ground. And we know that the seed that we're sowing, hallelujah, is in good ground, Lord God. And it shall produce good fruit. That 30, that 60, that hundredfold. But again, Lord, we say thank you for the mother shepherd that you have on this side of the window. Bishop Alexander Dwight and First Lady Lynette Dwight, Lord God. We thank you for them, Lord God. Lord, we a, a, anticipate a, a word from you this morning. Give them a double anointing, a double portion. Open our ears, open our eyes, that we can hear and receive what you have for us today, Lord God. Because truly our expectation comes from you and you alone. And those that are listening, begin to petition God. Because the word of God says when two or three are gathered together in his name, there he is in our midst. So he's in our midst right now. Consume our atmosphere, Lord. Fill our cups up. Let us be about your business. And we continue to lift you up and give you all the praise and all the glory that is due to your name. Thank you, Lord, for keep making a way. Thank you, Lord. 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 It's already settled. Thank you, Lord. Name. We pray. Amen. Look at your name and say, neighbor, the Lord just keep making a way.
So today, Mother Fluella, we honor you, we love you, and we appreciate everything that you do for us. So you come, we will have to go for you.
amen, doing this cancer treatment, breast cancer month, and so many other types. Some are home listening to us, amen. Maybe there are others who are here, you just haven't shared it. But we're praying for everyone, we're praying for all, in the name of the Lord. The Bible says that by His stripes we are here. Glory to God. Amen. We are delivered, we are set free. Amen. Not just for breast cancer, but so many have COVID and they're dealing with the after effects of it and so many things. So many families have been affected during this time that we're going through. Amen. But we know that if we just take a stand for the Lord, amen, amen, praise the name of the Lord, it's easy to go back to old habits. It's easy. It's very easy to go back to old habits. Amen. But when you're under pressure, praise the name of the Lord, God has a way of just pushing that right button. Amen. When you don't want to pray, He, he knows how to get you to pray. He knows how to get you to seek Him. Praise the name of the Lord. He reminds us of His goodness and His mercy. And this morning, I want to call your attention to don't want to keep you. Praise the name of the Lord. And we thank God for you. In Jesus' name. Thank God for the Brotherhood Fellowship on yesterday. Brother Roper, God bless you, my brother. Put that together. Amen. And show you to our grill master, Deacon Pope. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. And I encourage you, there's, there's so much left over in the back. Yes. Please, please take some with you when you go. Yes, she's I think they're serving a little something else. So we want to be sure that everyone, amen, after service, please go this way and, and that way. Because um, it's not going to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm trying to get in shape like old brother Brian over there. I'm trying to get <laughs> Against him, 
He didn't seek the Lord. He turns and he goes another direction and he seeks a king of Syria. He goes, let me break that down to you. A little bit. He seeks the king of Assyria and when he seeks the king of Assyria, his brothers leaves him off and go home and he does it. Then the Lord sent a prophet to him and the Lord says unto Asaphus. He said, for the eyes of the Lord runs to and fro throughout the whole world to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is perfect toward him. He and thou has done foolishly. All the years I brought you out, and when your back was against the wall, you turned help from somewhere else. Hmm. Therefore, from henceforth thou shalt have wars. And I want you to think in terms of when your back is against the wall. I want you to learn how to just trust me. It's so easy to turn to the flesh and you can be seated. It's so easy to turn back to things that, that you're accustomed to. It's so easy to go back to the old habits. It's so easy. It's so easy to go back to the old conversation. It's so easy to go back to the old thing that you used to do because you your flesh is used to that. But when you're learning how to trust God, when you're learning how to walk in the Spirit, when you're learning how to be obedient to God, when you're learning how to be that awesome woman and awesome man of God in the time that we're living in, it's not an easy task because the adversary is like a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he can devour. But we must understand that God has made us more than a conqueror. Through him that love us. To wonder, to wonder the song that said, God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this. He said, that power belongeth unto God. As unto, unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy. Isn't it wonderful to know that even when I'm going through what I'm going through, I can still find mercy. It's the name of the Lord, and we live in a time now where, especially during social media, it would seem like mercy is the last thing for one to extend. Right. Come on now. Right. Right. For thou hast rendered to every man according to his work, and isn't that unique because it's God who will recompense reward. That's why when Paul writes to the church in Corinthians. He said, thanks be unto God, which given me us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. But then he said, be ye what? Steadfast. If any time we need to have steadfastness in our commitment, steadfastness in who we are, is the time that we're living in now. He said, unmovable. Don't be so moved away with any little thing that come along because sometimes there are things that really rock you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're good. I know you got it together. I know you're dot on the eyes, cross on the teeth, nothing don't bother you. Never get upset. You always got a smile on your face. Everybody loves you. See you when you come in. Come on now. I, I understand that. But there's something that will rock your life, rock your decisions, and Right, whether or not you want to get up in the morning, right, 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 you want to get out of the bed in the morning, and Praise the name of the Lord. Look that you had such a wonderful day, but what happened over the night season? And so he said, be unmoved, but always abounding in the work of the Lord. But as much as you know, your labor is not in vain. Where? In the Lord. To whether the songwriter said, we've been made endure for a night, but joy comes where? In the morning. But the question is, how long is the night? Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Because even, even, I'm waiting on the morning, but the night can be frustrating. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for God to deliver. I know He's going to make a way, but the way can be frustrating. And I wish I had some real sense. Come on now. Come on, the way can be awful. The waiting on God. And, and I'm praising God. And I'm trying to keep my praise up. I'm trying to get my worship back up. I'm trying to keep my heart from being depressed. I'm trying to keep my spirit out of the gutter. Because I know I hear what the word says. Sure, I come up in the morning. But I know oh, the question is how long is my night? All right, all right. Hallelujah. He said, but the eyes of the Lord run to the throne. And even in the night season, John 15, 26, said Jesus, when he was on the earth, he said, listen, when you're going through, I'm going to give you another comforter. In other words, when you look at the Greek word comforter in this text, it means I'm going to give you another helper. I'm going to give you somebody to help you through your season. Amen. 
and to give you somebody that's not going to leave you nor forsake you. You're not always going to feel his presence. You're not always going to feel his anointing. You're not always going to feel the unction. But he said, by faith, I want you to trust him because if you trust him, you understand that you will not overcome through the letter. You overcome through the spirit because the letter can it, but the spirit can it light. Because even when you can't quote a Bible verse, the spirit is still ministering. He offers prayer and intercession without groaning and mourning. And you can't hear it, but even when you don't feel it, God, He's interceding for you. He's, and He's got function in your spirit. Says, hang in there, you're going to come through it. Hang in there, I'm going to bring you out of it. You just got to understand and go through the situation. Amen. To one of the Hebrew writers said, that's why you got to watch your conversation. You got to watch when you're back, when you're dealing with issues, you got to watch what come out of your mouth. Right. You got to watch the words you speak because he said, so that I can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. All right. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Amen. And the songwriter said, God is our refuge yes, and our strength. I'm very present help in the time of trouble yes, with the problem is God. I'm dealing, I'm dealing with issues and I'm dealing with all these problems. I'm, I'm making doctor's trips to the office and I'm, I'm dealing with medicine and I'm dealing with frustration and the folk that I thought would help me. All right, come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Right down that road. Come, come on, on now. Now. The folk that I thought right. would pray for me. I, 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 I knew that you delivered me from the outside enemies. I recognize your deliverance from, from the Ethiopians and all those Asa said. But the problem is my brothers came against me. The, the one that I thought that would help me it remind me of the song in that, that Sam Cooke sung years ago and it became very very famous, praise the name of the Lord. But in the midst of that song, there's a, there's a part of that song here. He said, when I went to my brother, That's right. he ended up knocking me. Yeah. Uh, praise the name of And sometimes the greatest hurt that comes, it comes from those you worship in sometimes. It comes from those that are close to you sometimes. Because David said this. He said, listen, you got to understand. He said, my enemy, he said at the table and he broke bread with me. He said, I didn't know that. But if I figured out, he said, I thought, sure, I can, I can handle the guy that was out there. But I had a hard time handling the one that was sitting next to me. Come on now. Yeah. Paul, 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 Paul reminds us, he said, I beseech you therefore, yes. by the mercies of God. He said, because of the mercies of God, he said, I want you to present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto God. He said, that's your, he said, that's your reasonable service. He said, that's what you owe. He said, I know you're going through an issue, but I still want you to present yourself. I still want you to have the right mindset. I still want you to have that praise. I still need you to have that worship. I know you can slap down, knock down, kick around, roll around, talk about, drag up and down, rich and out and do all up and down out 20. I know your name is scattered everywhere, but I can to tell you, any man in Christ is a brand new creature. All things are passed away if they just get to know the new year. He said, be not conform to this world. In other words, in other words, don't think the way they think. And just because they lash out, he said, don't you lash out. Jesus puts it this way. He said, pray for those who despitefully use you. He said, pray for them. Pray for them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, you know, can I be real for a second? Can, can I just be real? He ain't saying, pray God, get them. No, 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 no. That's, that's not what he's saying. He, he's not telling you, God, oh God, you got to get them, baby. They get on my nerve. No, what God is saying is, if you pray for them, I'll give you strength. Because my eyes going to and fro. I'm trying to show the world who I can be strong in. So whatever you're going through, it's not about you. It's about God trying to manifest himself to you and to the world. That's why when God told Abraham to put our sins back in my eyes, he couldn't tell Sarah because he would have never made the journey. 
goes to the end, goes to the mouth to the service, and then he said, and then Isaac and said, Father, I, I see the fire, I see the wood, I see, I, but I don't see the lamb, I don't see the sacrifice. Abraham said, God will provide. Yes, he will. Praise the name of the Lord. When your back's against the wall, praise the name of the Lord. You got to know God still will provide. And when he gets to the place of sacrifice, he, he, he ties Isaac's hand and Isaac surrender to him. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes you got to surrender to the will of God. It's not easy to surrender to the will of God because sometimes we're like, Joe, do you slay me? Yet will I trust you. Come on now. Yeah. Sometimes you're going through things and God is saying, surrender. But you're saying, Lord, if, 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 if you don't come to my rescue, I may not. You may have to deliver me in there. Can I preach a little bit here? Praise the name of the Lord. And so Abraham gets to the place where now God has dealt him. And he begins to draw back the knife. I don't know if I could do that, but Hebrews 11 says this to me. Hebrews said, Abraham believed that God would have raised his son back from the dead because he was the promised seed. When you get a promise from God, you got to hang on to the word of God. When you get a promise from the Lord, because all the promises of God in him is yea and amen. And when God speaks a word over your life, no matter what's going on, you got to stand firm. To what the Paul said, after you've done all you can do to stand there, you can stand in the house. Why? Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down a stronghold. You got to pull out the arguments that the enemy brings in your mind. The enemy is trying to tell you you will come out of this situation. The enemy is trying to tell you you always going to be depressed. You always going to be down. But baby, you got to lift your hands to God. And you got to tell the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. Because no weapon form against me shall be able to prosper. Uh, what you going to do with your back? It's against the wall. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Abraham was getting ready to take his son's life, and God said, Stop, there's a lamb in the bush. Abraham calls the place Jehovah Jireh, meaning God will provide. God will provide. And there was another situation when Moses had ran for 40 years for his life and God began to deal with him because the anointing on his life and the, and the excitement on his life was not over. And some of you just like that situation right now, you, you still deal with your past, but you got an assignment. Oh God, I feel this this morning. Some of you are struggling within and you know, and you, you you perfected, you perfected the hurt so you know how to hold the hurt. Come on now. Yes. It's perfected in you. You got good at holding the hurt. You hold the hurt in, but you got to smile on the outside. But if, if, but if God opened you up, folk will run from you. Praise the name of the Lord. But God is so gracious and mercy. Remember, his mercy and do for what? Forever. And so here Moses on the backside of the desert, but he looks and sees a bush burning, but the bush is not consumed because God has an assignment. And some of you right now in the backside of a problem, in the backside of a situation, in backside of rejection, in backside of depression, in backside of getting over what folk done to you. But I come to tell you there's a bush burning for you. That's an, an illumination coming in your life. You got to understand. God has to allow us to go through things because now he's ready to reveal that to you. When your back's up against the wall, get ready for some revelation. Get ready for God to reveal some things to you because God has to position you for another word is to get your attention and get our attention. And so Moses now sees the burning bush and when he gets closer, God speaks to him and says, hold up, brother. Put off the shoes off your feet. But the ground you stand on is holy ground. God is trying to bring us from the flesh back to the holy place of his spirit so that when we come together that's why Jesus when he met the woman at the well he said they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth God was looking for a breakthrough in the house he's looking for a breakthrough in the spirit of God he's looking for a breakthrough in the people of God praise the name of the Lord aren't you tired of flesh worship aren't you tired of him being entertained aren't you tired aren't you tired yet praise the name of the Lord Just where you are, just begin to praise God. He wants to reveal himself. 
Jia. And Jia then let Mahanao. He, he walks in and he pulls off his shoes. And now God gives him assignment. And when God gives him assignment, he asks him a very theological question that most of us want to ask. Who am I going to say, send me? And God said, you just tell me I that I don't have to explain myself. I just I am. You got to quit asking God to explain situations. Explain who he is. Who you got to believe. Whatever I face, I am going to get me out of here. Jesus said on the scene, and said, you want to know that I am? Who's the way of truth and life? If you want to know that I am? Denying the power thereof. That we got a form of godliness. We got a 
form. You say, oh, you know, he's shaking my car. You know how it is. You know, it don't look like it. Let me help you out a little bit. I remember I thought I could play some basketball. And I messed around and went to the wrong gym. And when I got there, there was a brother there that was bad to the bone. And they picked me and I had to play. And man, when that game was over, they looked at me, boy, if you don't get out of here. Well, because if it worked for you, you might have well won this thing. See, I had a form I thought I could play. But when I got with the real players, then my form was showed up. Now what you mean, Bishop? I wish the real thing would show up. So we didn't get rid of the form. I wish the real players would show up. 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 He said, I'm going to take unto you the whole armor. He said, why? Because you're going to have things come against you unexpectedly. You're going to have one day you have money in the bank, and the next day you're going to be broke as you can be. Come on now. Y'all ain't gonna talk to you now. We live there. Yeah. We know. If I told you a little bit of our testimony, you wouldn't believe it. Because there were a place we live. We had no kid folk in us. And I'm not talking about the two legged ones. They were, they, were, they were having more children than we were. Hallelujah. Y'all, uh huh. I know y'all so saved. You born on high. Oh, no. shoot. Uh-huh. You live always live in a good place of time. Uh-huh. But baby, we've been yeah. through some hard times. Yeah. We cried and we mourned. We prayed and sometimes we just laid. But God still made a way. I come to tell you. And so he said, listen to me. He said, put on the whole arm. That you may be able to stand in the evil day. Having done all to stand, he says, stand therefore. Having your Lord's gun about the truth. He said, baby, if you're going to make it, you got to wrap yourself in truth. And you got to protect your family. You got to do what Nehemiah said. When the enemy came against Nehemiah, when they were weeping in the walls, he looked at the men. He said, brother, he said, fight for your wives. Fight for your children. Fight for your families. I wish I had two or three books. Or look at somebody and say, fight. You got to fight for your family. He said, this one here, you got to fight for them. Quit throwing your hands up and give it up. Yes, they're going to make decisions that you're not going to like. They're going to make decisions that going to hurt you. We did the same thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We did the same thing. Staying out all night. Because mama ain't got no idea where you at. Walk in the house after mama done going to work. Got to sneak in sometime. She'll wake up in the morning and say, boy, I was praying for you. Come in. But she mama know her house. You trying to see me. And when I snuck in, the foot hit the wrong plank. And when the plank get a dirty noise, she said, that's my boy, I can go to sleep now. But I'm trying to tell you, if mama got all that, I must know God has. He promised you. righteousness of God. He said, and your feet shod with the preparation. Yeah. What kind of gospel? The gospel of peace. Hallelujah. We're going to be believers today. When I back you against the wall, baby, we got to have peace about us. Hallelujah. It's time out for being mean saints. It's time out for being ugly saints. And I'm not talking about ugly on the outside. Uh, 
love. It's time to get our spirits together. Get our hearts together. Oh, God, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all excuse me. I feel like I got my old evangelist of spirit coming on. He said, take the shield of faith. Baby, you got to have something to keep off the ducks of the enemy. That's your faith. When the enemy try to come in like a flood, you got to know your faith is put a standard against him. He said, wherefore, you shall be able to quench all the fiery ducks of the wicked. Not just some ducks. But he said, take the heaven of salvation. In other words, you got to guard your mind. You better guard what comes into your head. Because the enemy will deal with you. You got to guard what you watch. You got to guard who you love. God sent me here. You got to guard who you hang again. Hang around. Because people are pull things in your spirit. Hallelujah. And you know gossip is a big thing today. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. It's just more out there. Because now people can gossip about you without looking at you. They can put it on Facebook. Uh -huh. They can go all on social media and tell things that ain't true. But you got to be wrapped up in Jesus. You can't retaliate. But she put something out there about me. I'm going to talk about them. Can I go old school for a moment? I remember it. The old saints taught me a good lesson. They said, talk about me as much as you please. But the more you talk, I'm going to be on my knees. You can talk in everything. I'm going to talk on my knees. The I know the Lord will take care of me. I know the Lord. Y'all see my hand old sleep on. And he said, take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. It's time now for us to get our weapons together. It's time to tell the enemy, get out of my life. Leave my children alone. Time to speak the word of God over situations. Can I preach it like I feel it? It's time now for us to rise up again and get our knowing back. Get our joy back. It's time to get your praise back and fight with your praise. It's time to fight with your worship. It's not time to sit around and have a pity party. It's time now to shake yourself and tell the devil you can't have me. The push me to war. What do you do? The pain has my family.
children. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give in to the pressures. Don't give in. Don't give in. Oh, he's renewing strength. He's renewing strength. He's renewing strength. He's renewing strength. He's renewing your joy. So you may renew your shout and say, I got my joy right now. I got my joy. You can't stop my prayers now. Hallelujah. You might have came in depressed, but you're leaving differently. Because God is an awesome God. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. Put those hands lifted all over the streets. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Because only if you do the real move and have our gift. You are the source of the strength of our life. Help us to learn the lesson that Asa had to learn. You brought it from so many things you did. But we got to one point, he didn't trust you. Help us to trust you all the way through. Help us to trust you all the way through. God is what it looks like. Help us to trust you all the way through. Restore our sons and our daughters. Restore God. Restore us. We bleed the blood. We bleed the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. On your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You believe the Lord today? I think they're having, they're having something for a bunch of food in the back. They're doing some serving, so please, please don't go that way. Go this way. Take something with you. I can't take all that to the house. Amen.